Hello and welcome to another part of the Walk to uh, playlist. In this episode, uh, oh, let me repeat on what happened in last episode. In last episode, we tried to get all these machete pieces at the bottom uh, just to clean up the middle two layers. Uh, however, uh, as I said in last video, you do not have to do all of them. You don't have to get all of them down there. Uh, it's okay if a couple of them stay there. Uh, it's not important. This is just a speed up step. So the steps that will follow will go easier. Uh, and that also means that this episode, what we're going to do in, in right now, is also just to speed up the process of solving the test puzzle. It's not in fact a mandatory step to do, uh, but I, I think it's a good thing to have in this walkthrough, so you have some idea of what you can do to speed up the process. And it, on a, uh, another thing is that it involves a lot of rotating to uh, different 4D orientations, and that's really the biggest uh, thing that I feel like I have to explain, all the 4D stuff, because uh, I'm not uh, explaining how I make certain pieces uh, get to certain places, how what my uh, what the moves are that I'm using, because that's look at this thing. This is just a cube. Uh, I'm assuming that anybody watching this already know how to solve cubes like these. Uh, you've probably practiced on a Rubik's Cube or something. Uh, if you know how to solve a Rubik's Cube, then you can already get pretty far with this. Even though this is 4x4, four four, doesn't matter. Rubik's Cube skills are enough. The 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube skills are enough to get you almost to the end. The last part might be a bit challenging, but uh, other than that, you'll be you'll get pretty far. Uh, so yeah, my focus in these walkthrough videos is mostly the 4D stuff, explaining that. Uh, so where was it? Oh yeah, okay. So last video, I got all the magenta down there. It's not important if you got uh, not everything down there. Uh, and in fact, I can show you why. So what I'm gonna do in this step, uh, I'm going to go to this orientation. So as you remember. This is the, the top ring. This was from uh, the second episode. Uh, so this is these are all adjacent to the green layer. Uh, so yeah. And here at the other end of the spectrum we have the bottom layer. So these are the magenta pieces right now. So all the different pieces here on the on this cube have a magenta color on them. Even the ones that do not seem to have magenta over here, they actually do have magenta. We cannot see it, but they do have it. Um, so yeah, let me just go to these two. So these, what I've shown in the last video, do not have any magenta color on them. And that was exactly what I tried to achieve. Uh, in your case, you might still have a couple of magenta colors on them, not a problem. I'm going to show you right now why. Because in this step, what we're going to do is we're going to solve this one and this one as if they were three-dimensional, I think it's called a professor cube. I'm not sure what the exact name is. Wait, let me Google that real quick. I want to get it right. No, wait, Professor's Cube is 5 of 5. Oh, Rubik's Revenge, that's the 4x4. Four four. Okay, so this is. So, what I'm basically can go. Oh, oops, my bad. Okay, I have to go back here. Okay, uh, I guess this is good. Yeah, this is looking good. Okay, so 
Uh, imagine this is a, a Rubik's Revenge Rubik's Cube, so the one with the 4x4x4, four by four by four, and just try to solve it as much as possible. So one of the problems you might be facing is that you have magenta colors that should not be there. But that's not the only challenge you will be having, because you will also notice that some of the pieces uh, are double. Uh, let me just show you by starting. Uh, let me first check because I like like to start with blue. So I'm gonna make this face blue. And so I was just checking here which side is blue. That's this one. So I want this to be blue. Um, I'm gonna try to make it as blue as possible. I think my laptop is getting a little bit hot from uh, recording these videos, which is causing it to freeze from time to time. It's quite ironic that the computer freezes when it gets hot. Let me see. No, that piece is not going to get up there. That's a shame. Uh, but there are other pieces that can. Um, ah, I can still do that one. Okay, so these pieces cannot go up here. It's a bit annoying, but that's uh, that's kind of the point I was trying to make. So you can't have it all. Uh, but that's why I was saying try to get it solved as much as possible. You're not gonna. It's very unlikely that you're gonna solve it completely at this point, and you don't have to do that at all. Uh, okay, it's a bit annoying that this is oriented the wrong way. But uh, I'm gonna try to live with that. So this side should be red. So let me. And this, ah, oh, this is also annoying. It's all the wrong way. Oh, it's so annoying. Um, okay, this is nice as black, but actually the top one should be blue. Uh, so since it's oriented the wrong way, I can even say that I can ignore it if I have a better piece that I can put there. So this one is red, but there's no white. Really, all the corners are are all the corners oriented the wrong way? How about this one? Oh, that's the that's the only corner that's correct. Okay, that's just my luck. All right. Uh, at least the edges and the centers I can do right. Uh, to some extent. So let me just try and get this right. Oh. So now I've got this. Oh. Got this black one over here. Put over here. Uh, was that supposed to be? No, that was supposed to be red. Alright, don't let myself get fooled. Oh, right, that one can go down here. Do I have. No, I don't. Okay, um, I have this red one that I want to go up here. It's looking good. Just ignore the corners for a bit there. Completely wrong. Uh, yeah, that's the one thing you have to keep in mind. If there are pieces that, uh, if you uh, are at the wrong position, that's not really important. The only important thing is is that if you have a piece 
that could go there, then you put it there. Uh, it's not important if there are pieces that are not where they belong. So here I have this cyan piece, but unfortunately it should go over here, and uh, here is the one where I'm missing it. So this is one of those duplicate pieces that I talked about earlier. And here I have a blue black piece, but I think, yeah, I already got those. So I think everything, so here there's this uh, black piece, but all the black pieces are already done. Red is done. So I'm only missing white and cyan, but I don't have the right ones for that. So uh, that means that I'm basically done with the top layer. And I mean, not just the, on the surface, but also... Uh, the ring is done, even though it doesn't look like it uh, because of those corners, but it's only because not, none of those corners like I could for example put that uh, over there for example, but then it would be completely wrong so it really doesn't matter what I'm gonna do with this it's also no cyan black one that's uh, yeah, there's this one, but that's also oriented the wrong way, so I'm not gonna bother. Uh, I'm just gonna focus on the next two layers. I'm trying to get them done as much as possible. So that should be cyan, that's good. Can I maybe get another side piece? Nice. Um, then I'll just get this done real quick. Look, that's nice. These sign pieces are all there. Uh, how about the other parts? So that should be black. I don't have black pieces right now. I have a red piece that I can put here. And there's a black piece here that I can use. So now let me just wait. I can have a lot of white pieces. Let me just first put the white pieces over here. Uh, now I'm gonna make the choice to swap yellow with black because I already got white completely covered and then I will have the yellow pieces at the correct position. Like I said before, I try to get as much as possible correct right now. And at the end of the video I will explain why I'm doing all of this. Because I, I can imagine that right now you're asking yourself, uh, why are we doing this at all? What's the point? And the point is that we're speeding up the process for the next couple of steps, in the next episodes. So I'm done with the centerpieces now, so I didn't get everything because I don't have everything. And some stuff I got double, doesn't matter. Let's continue. Let's do the edges here. And then see uh, from there. So do I have a red white piece? Yes, I have. Cool. Uh, so yeah. I think that's a pretty useful color to have. Can I swap it? But I have plenty of useful colors in my palette down. Uh, blue, black. Oh wait, no, I can't use that. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, I maybe I can uh, do this real quick. The, these two colors are useless, but the one I got from there is useful. 
uh, white of this one over here. Uh, that's the right. Yeah, I think that's correct. Uh, I can put this here, but then I have to do it like this. All right, that's one done. And the other one, oh, I'm afraid. Uh, no, I can't put it there because then it will go here. And the same goes for this one. Oh, that's just my luck. Well, let's continue to the next one. Okay, uh, cyan and black. Do I have something? Oh yeah, I have something for that. Cyan and black. Do I have another one? Doesn't seem like it. Did I already do the black red one? Uh, oh wait, there is a cyan. Oh, there is a cyan black one over here. Maybe I can use that. So let me just swap it with those yellow pieces. Um, now I want. Where is? Oh. Oh, that's not gonna work because this one will end up over here where there is already a cyan black one. Okay, then I guess there is no black red piece. So then I'll prefer to have everything down here in order. Um, but I'm not gonna. I'm not planning to do too much of that. Or maybe I can put, get some of those yellow pieces down here and replace them with pieces that I cannot use. For example, this white magenta piece over here. Uh, there is no use for it. Uh, are there other yellow pieces? Yes, this is yellow. I can also... Swap this with something I cannot use. Uh, uh, this yellow up here. Blue and black. Uh, was that on purpose? Oh yeah, yeah that was on purpose, yes. Uh, I still have a yellow one here. Do I have... Oh, I have a yellow one over here as well. Um, so oh, maybe I should mention that I'm being pretty thorough, but uh, you don't have to be as thorough as I'm doing right now. Uh, but 
at this point I do think I have all the yellow pieces down. This is what I wanted to do. Um, so now ideally you want all the pieces to be at the right position. So for example I want two yellow black pieces over here. Am I really gonna bother doing all of that? Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna do that. Because it adds no value to the video. Uh, and the whole point is to speed up things. So I got the yellow pieces down here. That's already gonna speed things up, uh, my guess is. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move to the other layer. And basically, I will repeat what I did here. So I'll start cutting all those blue pieces at the top. Alright, I think that's all the blue I can get at the top because, yeah, that's not gonna work out. Um, now I have to get everything pointing the right direction, so this should be cyan. Let me just do it like this. That's technically correct, except this is not what I want. Uh, right, if that's black, then. I want this to be white, and it's already white. Uh, that's supposed to be sign, right? And then this is supposed to be red. Am I doing it right? Yes. Uh, hang on, wait. That's supposed to be black. Okay, so. Uh, okay, the red one is not gonna be working out. Yeah, so I have this. This is supposed to be black, but these are not the right pieces to be black. So I'm gonna put this here. And the reason I'm doing it is because. I want these to be occupied with pieces that are completely useless. Did I actually do that? 
with the previous sites. I'm not sure. All right, so all the useless pieces are at places that cannot be occupied by useful pieces, so that's good. Everything that is. Oh, wait, the corners. Did I check the corners? Can I. Okay, that's, okay, that, uh, okay, that's already not what I want. Um, it's also not what I want. Is this. Oh, this could be what I want. Wait, if I just... And this is white and red. I don't think... Because if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, this is not correct, but I'll put it here. Next this yellow black part. Do I really want that there? We have something that is that I have abundantly. I think this red black piece I have twice, so because I'm pretty sure I saw yeah, because it's over here as well. So that's completely useless to me. Alright, so that's the corners I did as well as I could. So let me just continue with the next couple of layers. Uh, can I get a lot of red here? Uh, I think this is good enough. Let me just... Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna continue with these two layers. Alright, mm -hmm. uh, then I'll just do this, no, uh, no, yes, great, okay, that's already done, uh, okay, so the blue and black one left, I can at least do this. So I've got all the yellows down. Oh, I can still fill up this one. Uh, so yeah, th those are the centerpieces. They are almost all of them complete except the white part. Uh, now the edges. So let me see. You have I? Yeah, I have white cyan. Uh, 
I have plenty of white red pieces that I can put here. Let me just move this out of the way. Um, what was I doing? I oh, okay, I've got it here. Useful is this. Oh, this one can be put there. Oh, that's already quite hold on. Um, Can I put something white cyan? No, I don't have white cyan. Uh, I'm fine with this one being here because there is, as far as I know, there is no black cyan. No. Okay, black red is covered, red, red white is covered. I've got a lot of red. That's nice. Um, now I want all the yellow pieces. At the bottom, so there's still one yellow piece here. Wait, do I want to take the effort to get that one? Because, yeah, yeah let me get that one. Um, Yeah, uh, just do this. I'm a little bit confused about what I'm doing. I have this piece that I want to get back there. So let me wait. Wait. wait.
If you're not following what I'm doing, uh, I'm not following what I'm doing either. So we're on the same page here. But I think, yeah, this is yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Okay, this is back. This is no longer yellow. All right. Okay, so yellow pieces at the bottom. Uh, Uh, I think, yeah, this is the amount of effort I want to put into this. Uh, so yeah, so what I've done here is I've tried to get this and this to be solved as much as possible while refraining myself from taking too much effort. If you feel like you can do this part really quickly uh, you can do that to save yourself some time for later steps, uh, but I'm not gonna do that. Let me just change the view. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, this, this could be a good view. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, those two center layers the middle layers they this doesn't look very good why is that does it make sense like this is completely wrong why is this comp is this like a coincidence something oh i know i know what the issue is uh, if I go up here, it has to do with, yeah, because there are yellow pieces that are pointing uh, outwards. That's what's happening. So that's why it's looking very, very bad. But actually, that's a good thing that's pointing outwards because then you know it's bad. Because uh, in those outermost layers, you want to be able to tell that the pieces are in fact the wrong pieces. So these yellow pieces should not be there. But you can you want them to be over here. Uh, on the other hand, wait, uh, we don't want that because they are in fact in the correct position or close to the correct position. So yeah, but it's uh, it's not too important. Although to be honest, I I kind of want to do them right now. Um, because then it's, it still can save me some time. If but before I do that, let me first explain. Uh. Actually, no, no, I'm not going to explain it yet. I'm going to leave it to the end of the video. I'm going to do the yellow pieces a little bit more. Uh, that they face a little bit more downwards. And then I will explain why I did all of this.
all right so these yellow pieces are mostly pointing downwards uh yeah i'm gonna do perfectly just uh getting a little bit more out of it then uh yeah, i can still get some progress out of this 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 is not taking too much time is it Uh, one more time. So now most of them should already be like that, okay. And then I'll just do this. Okay, I've got two corners missing. Oh, but I can just do it again and then now I've got three corners instead of two. Yeah, I, I'm gonna leave it at this. Uh, maybe I can rotate something like this. So this corner is correct. Uh, this is correct. Yeah, some pieces are correct, but I'm not gonna do it perfectly. If I look over here, this corner is now correct, uh, and this corner as well. Uh, this is not, you know, I'm just gonna leave it like this. This is fine enough, so I go back to this orientation. So now if I go to the outermost, it actually looks slightly better. Not perfect, but a lot less yellow uh, in the places where it should not be yellow. Same goes for here. But this look, looks actually quite a lot better. I see a lot of black where it should not be black, but other than that, it's looking pretty well. Um. Oh wait, because this is of course, yeah, this is the blue layer and this is this is the yellow layer. Yeah, I get it now. And this is the in between. Yeah. All right. Okay. So this is basically what I've been doing. We have tried to get as much of these pieces in the correct position. So I, I would recommend focusing on these two innermost layers because. Uh, if you see that the color is correct here, then you know it is correct because all the. So, yeah, that's the nice thing about the inner layers. The outer layers, on the other hand, are a little bit more uh, deceptive. So even if something like this piece over here seems to be alright, there's a possibility that's not the correct piece because you're not seeing all the colors. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so again, the reason we were doing all this hassle uh, back, uh, let me go here, over here, in these two, was to get these two letters uh, layers as correct as possible. So to reiterate, we first uh, got the top layer right. And uh, then we put all the magenta pieces down there, and because all the magenta pieces were down there, they were not in here, so we could get a lot of stuff correct. But there were some pieces uh, in this layer uh, that should be in the layer below, and some uh, pieces in the layer below that should go in the layer up there. So some of those pieces were swapped between these two layers. Uh, which from this perspective looks like uh, so you have this cube over here with some pieces and this cube and these two cubes have pieces that should be in the, on the other cube uh, so that's why we were not able to solve these two cubes 
but that was not really the point. The point was to save us some time because now uh, a lot of these pieces are correct. And I think this was a lot faster than what we're going to do in the next video. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to also continue working on the middle layers, but we're going to do it from more of this perspective. So, uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, from this perspective. So no, no longer, or I'm going to barely look at these two cubes anymore. I'm just going to do it uh, from here or I'm going to do it from here or from here. So all the perspectives where green is at the top. Um, and then it will be uh, a lot of the progress I will be making will be just one piece at a time. So that's why I decided to put all the magenta pieces down there and do these two layers really quickly from this perspective uh, just to prevent myself from having to do all the pieces one by one because that's a lot of pieces to do these two layers are the most time consuming to get fixed uh, so now that should be a lot easier because a lot of it, sorry, no, in this, look at, look here. So here I already have three red pieces at the correct place. So, so I only have to find this last red piece and get it there. So this is just looking around for a red center piece, maybe down here, or maybe it's somewhere over here. Oh yeah, here's a red piece. So yeah, there it is. I can put it, uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to put it over here so that's what the next video is going to be like and thanks to what i've done in this and the previous video i have to do a lot less stuff so the next video will be a lot shorter because of these last two videos and actually that's going to uh, be the same for the next three videos because i'm going to do am i correct uh yeah, yeah I, I'm gonna do three more videos revolved around the these two layers uh, before I will get to the bottom layer. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, I hope it was all clear what I was doing. If not, uh, contact me by email with any questions you still have. Uh, I will try to, uh, um, yeah, maybe I will just explain by email what I was doing, or maybe I will make a video about it so others will understand as well. Uh, yeah, at the very least, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time. Wait just a second, I'm gonna go back here. I think this is a, should be the thumbnail, right? So like this cube. Would it be better? No, I'm gonna make this this the thumbnail of the video. I think that makes sense because that's the place where we're working in the most. Or wait, can I maybe pick one where it looks like more soft? So like from this orientation. <laughs> Uh, uh, it looks, it looks pretty good. Um, ah, actually, now that I think about it, this, this looks better, right? Because this shows you what your aim is. <laughs> Sorry for uh, trying to figure out what I'm gonna use for a thumbnail <laughs> during this video. I've never claimed to, to be a very professional person, so it was your mistake to assume that I am. Uh, <laughs> but alright, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope it was clear. Uh, contact me by email if it wasn't. You can find the link in the description. 
um, where you can also find wait did I put the link of the video game itself in the description if I didn't I should probably do that but uh, anyways thanks for watching see you next time bye bye